Welcome to Casino Chips. Today we're talking about the Grand Victoria set. Special thanks to our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Poker chips and everything else poker. I'm on here all the time. Come say hi. Join the conversation. Amazing classifieds. You can buy stuff like this. Now, let's talk about the Grand Victoria Casino before we dive into discussion about the chips. Opened in 1997, I believe it was under Hyatt ownership. I've driven near it on the interstate and you always see like, you know, billboards that would say Grand Victoria Casino, you know, come visit. Now it's the Rising Sun Casino Resort, something like that. Is it hotel? I think it's Casino Resort. So it obviously in 2011 changed ownership. So these chips are obsolete, no good, and they are available in the wild. I'm glad they don't, not everybody has Las Vegas rules where they have to destroy their chips. So have a look in the description for some links to where previously these would have been found. I know they're, because they are a secondhand set, it always changes. Apache Poker Chips has some at the making of this video. That set will probably sell. So that link will probably be obsolete quick, but definitely check eBay, the classifieds. You can find a set or even a sample set. So let's dive into a discussion about the chips. I'm gonna put up some of the information just to save some time, but I wanna discuss the inlays real quick. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of photo inlays, but this is one of the more pleasant photo-backed inlays. Now, this is what I assume. The Grand Victoria was located on the Ohio River, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, in Rising Sun, Indiana. So Rising Sun, here's obviously the sun rising over the Ohio River. It's just in Rising Sun, the sun's always rising. Every day, it just it seems to rise for some reason. So this is one of the more pleasant backgrounds and photos that I've seen on a real inlay here. And these are Paulson reverse hat and cane mold. You can see the hat and cane up here pushed all the way out to the edge. So clearly not a top hat and cane mold with a little circle around the outside. So clearly different. And another difference, this is a President Casino on the Admiral known as PCA chips. And this has a faux shaped inlay and this has a true shaped inlay that's actually cut to shape. You can see the difference there. And the one is a lovely white. This is a really simple one. I really like how a lot of casinos have gone with a more simple $1 chip denomination. Moving on to the five. The five is a really pleasant color. My camera always has trouble capturing the bright, vivid, neon fluorescent style colors right here. You'll notice that the inlay is a circular shape, no faux shape associated with this one. And this is aligned pretty well. And this side, not quite aligned. Uh, there was a discussion on Poker Chip Forum about how I mentioned it seems like Paulson deliberately try to not align their inlays with their edge spots. The 25 is probably my least favorite. It's just the color green. It's, I don't know, there's just something about it. It might be this edge spot color as well. But it does have, again, moving to a faux shaped inlay. So it's a circular inlay with the printed shape on it. And we're moving to more interesting edge spots. And there is an edge spot progression and an inlay progression. It's a very playable set. I mean, if you get a set of these or even a sample set, this is something that you can enjoy. The 100 is one of my favorites. It's very festive. And you can, again, see the inlay not quite lined up there. Grand Victoria 100, beautiful cog. Again, faux shaped inlay. And then another one that I really like. Man, I like all, I like all of these except for that 25. And even that's not terrible. It's just not my favorite. This 500 is super lovely. It works really well with this purple in the inlay. Beautiful, beautiful set. Let me know what you think of the Grand Victoria set. Be sure to visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com, and subscribe to this channel. My name is John Hobby. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments.